G'day guys, it is Ben here from Hunt the Night. Now, what we're gonna do today is have a quick look at this brand new Infrared E6 Plus V3 thermal monocular. This is the latest and greatest from Infrared in their ICE E6 line. Now this is the Plus, so this is the smaller one of the two. Uh, this one's got a 35 mil lens. Uh, this one and the Pro are both a 640 by 512 12 micron. I don't have the Pro yet. I'm expecting that that soon, and that's the 50 mil version of this. Um, this has got a two base magnification. It actually presents to me a little bit higher, um, but it is rated at, at two base magnification, and it's got a 25 or less than 25 millikelvin uh, net D um, setup on it as well. It's got a pretty decent field of view for what it is too. It's got a 12.5 by 10 degrees field of view. Now, for those of you who have spoken to me a lot about monoculars, I don't have one monocular I use. I use several different ones. Um, you know, when I'm, I'm shooting deer, I'm often shooting deer at, you know, under 50 metres. So I like that kind of one, one and a half base magnification. And the reason why I say this one presents a little, I had this one out on, on deer the other night and it was just a little bit too tight field of view for me. I like something with a bit more. Um, so, but when I, when I'm out shooting foxes, for instance, I'm using something with higher base magnification because foxes are generally further out. I want to detect and identify, you know, further as well. So, you know, I don't have one monocular. I have several. Now I'm going to, I've got limited footage of this device because I haven't been out too much, uh, this, this week, given the weather and I've, uh, damaged my, my wrist, but, um, yeah, but there's a couple of things I, I just want to discuss about this device. Okay. Um, the familiarity of the buttons is fantastic. I love they've kept it consistent. We can change our color palettes, we can zoom, and we can hold down for recording, or we can single press for um, taking a photo. Uh, we can also get into the extended menu. It's got great brightness and contrast um, controls. We can turn off you know, image enhancement, on image enhancement, all those types of things. One of the things I really like though about this device is I can switch it between cool and warm in the actual color palette, in, in the actual, you know, uh, well, I guess kind of color palette. Um, and one's gonna give me more sepia look, one's gonna give me a more black and white look. Personally, I prefer the more black and white looks, but I'm seeing a lot of these types of devices coming out now that have got that more sepia type look, which to me, I don't like as much. I don't find as 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 well in, a, in order to be able to pick things up quickly with, a, with the difference of contrast. Um, you know, I like that black and whiteness. My brain works really well, you know, in, in black and white. Um, you'll see some of the footage as well. It creates a stunning image. Um, this is up there with the best on the market. You know, it, it's got lower resolution. It's got a higher resolution sensor and the same kind of net D as other products up there that are twice as much as this. This is... You know, a, a, for what it is, this is an absolute bloody bargain. It is an absolute fantastic little unit. Creates an amazing picture. Um, and, yeah, yeah, you know, as you see. So, look, there's not much else to say about it. This really is just a quick introduction. I will spend more time with this um, out in the field, get more footage, because I think it's 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 worthwhile spending that, that time with this one. I am looking forward to getting the, uh, the, the, the bigger version of this, the Pro as well which has got three base magnification so i'll get that out on some of the other other jobs that i shoot on and um get some footage in as well all right guys that's really it this is really just a quick one hope you got something out of it uh, as always you can get these online at hunttheknight.com.au thanks and have a great day